Hi there, Wycliffe Barrett, uh, x Dedicated. Flight planners are like Cardiff bus. You don't see any for ages, and then three come along all at once. Today, we're going to have a look at a new one. But before we get started, don't forget, subscribe to my channel. And also, if you like the video, hit the like button, and uh, I'll be really happy. Right, so let's get into it. Little Nav, Bat by, Little Nav Map by Alexander Barthelli. Right. You download it from GitHub, and once you've installed it, which is really install, you click on it and you get this incredible, confusing array of panels, icons, buttons on your screen. Uh, you, you do have to create your database if you're an X-Plane user, but that doesn't take very long. And it takes you through it uh, on the install procedure. It is absolutely incredible. This is where you get it from, it's GitHub. I'll put the uh, link in the bottom and you just download it. It doesn't take very long at all. Okay, so I've had this only a few hours. I got this late last night. Uh, I recorded the bulk of this video last night after trying to figure it out so what you're going to see is a very easy way of creating a flight plan, I hope. Um, it is incredibly complex, there's an awful lot to it, and there doesn't appear to be a manual that says this is how you create a flight plan. But you click on this icon here to create a new flight plan, and this dialog box opens here. So new flight plan, route description, and just type in anything you want, EGFF to EDDF, and then click on route uh, create route okay and then you create flight plan down here and it's created a flight plan direct flight plan between Cardiff and Frankfurt and and you see it on the map over there so you need to come over to the right hand side and this is where it gets a little bit confusing you know how do you populate it well you populate it by clicking on one of these icons here uh, which allows you to create a flight plan, a high altitude flight plan or VOR to DME flight plan. So you click on high altitude flight plan and it populates the flight plan and, and with all your waypoints and airways. There, right. So you can see all the information down there on, on the left hand side. Uh, and as I say, it is incredibly detailed. And looking at the map in the middle there, you can see that it's picked up all the waypoints and and put everything in just showing you there the different flight plans that you can create but now of course you need to put in uh, your s departure and your arrival and this is where it gets a little bit more complex and it took me quite a while to figure this out so you need to uh, go to here insert a uh, start position so we're going to start on gate 10 yeah so that's gate 10 and then you come up to the right hand side and you've got to find your airport so you type in EGFF yeah EGFF click on it and show procedures uh, now where is it up here there show procedures so you click on that and it shows you all the procedures for Cardiff SIDS and approaches so click on Brecon 1 Alpha and there it is it's drawn it in in blue but as you can see it looks a little bit odd because uh, you've got NumPo down there. I believe it's NumPo. So maybe we need to get rid of NumPo. So we can come over to this side, right click on NumPo and remove waypoint, delete waypoint. And there you are. See, it's, it's rectified that. And then we have our flight plan all the way to uh, EDDF, Frankfurt. And of course, you need to get in your your approach to Frankfurt and once again it's the same kind of principle you would choose Frankfurt up in the top right hand side and then you know find your approach um, now as I say I've had this a few hours and I've done very little with it but there, there's the start that's when I chose gate 10 at Cardiff uh, zooming in all of these panels are undockable you can undock all of these different panels and put them all over your screen or if you've got a second monitor move everything over to your second monitor uh, in one fell swoop as I've done here uh, so save the flight plan so you can save the flight plan in a number of formats I don't want that format that's not good for me so save as a PLN and you can see I've done three others there very quickly so that flight plan is now saved which is very good what I need to show you is how we connect to the simulator. Just checking the flight plan again there here. Okay. 
open that one. We'll open this one down to uh, Alicante. Right, so how do we connect? So just to prove that I'm in the simulator there, uh, I want to get onto gate 10. So quite literally, you go to tools, flight simulator connect, click on that. Yeah, uh, connect to X-Plane, local X-Plane uh, simulator. Get rid of the AI traffic because I'll be flying online and connect. And there you have it. You see, there is the aircraft on the ground at Cardiff Airport. Uh, and so I'm connected to the simulator. And then over in this panel here, if I can make, move that out of the way, I've got all my aircraft information 757 200. Yep. Uh, model registration type weights everything uh, and a little bit more information there about the aircraft altitude speed everything so you know it, that's the progress tab and then there's the AI tab so that's the progress tab telling you exactly where your aircraft is in 3d space uh, now you can reset all the windows just by clicking on this button here and saying reset and it resets everything but as I say you can move everything about all the windows you can change the sizes of them um, and there's just so much in this that I really haven't had time to have a look at it all so uh, there you go a new flight planner Hit the like button. I, as always, this is Wycliffe Barrett. Yeah.